Happy November 21st, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy traveled the road from Crown Spire toward Timber Landing. Along the way, we were attacked by two feral critters, which were really just kind of an annoyance. We ate a couple of meal rations, and that is where we left things. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Halfway to Timber Landing, the road crosses a natural waterfall. You stop here for the sheer beauty. While taking a break, you hear a disturbing noise you can't locate the source of. I see a hidden icon. Uh, it is a the backpack icon. So let's see. Let's see what we find. Somebody left something here for us. Um, here we go. We're going to roll a 10-sided die. And inside is <laughs> a meal ration. Excellent. Okay. We find some leftover food. <laughs> Somebody didn't want. Uh, I'm sure it's delicious. Meal ration. That goes to six. And now, let's see about this mysterious noise uh, one, uh, let's see, explore the waterfall and there's numbers here I assume we can go in any order we like but I think we'll keep it easy and just go one, two, three, four so area one, right in the middle, towards the waterfall intrigued by the natural waterfall's enchanting beauty you look closer as you approach, the sound you heard earlier becomes more distinct you may stop exploring now, or you may continue to explore before returning here. The water splashing on the rocks over the years has caused them to be slick and smooth. Roll d20 plus dexterity reminder. Athlete Ivy is an athlete. <laughs> it doesn't matter because we roll a one. Uh, you slip on the wet rocks and crash into the water below to be swept away. <laughs> Reduce your health by one. You must reattempt this roll to continue. Uh, I think I think we're supposed to. I think we're not supposed to do this until we uh, until we've decided we don't want to explore anything else. So we'll subtract one health, but let's um, let's explore some more areas before we try that again. So we're down to twenty nine health. Area 2. From the surface, you spot something. Where's Area 2? It's right by the lake, by the river shore here. Uh, from the surface, you spot something shiny at the bottom of the plunge pool. Intrigued by the glimmering object at the bottom of the plunge pool, you decide to take a closer look. With a graceful dive, you plunge into the cool, refreshing water, determined to retrieve this mysterious item. I don't think I've ever seen the word plunge. <laughs> Many times in one paragraph. Uh, roll d20 plus constitution. Reminder, athlete. Here we go. 9 plus 2 is 11. What? What? These numbers are really high. Um, 17 or less is the worst result? What are we missing here? 18 to 24 is the mid result. 25 or more is the best result. How on earth would you get 25 points? What am I missing? I'm gonna I'm gonna pause here and check the errata. Well, okay, there's nothing on the um, there's nothing on the errata page on Board Game Geek about this. So, uh, what am I not getting about this? Before, um, explore the waterfall. One, two, three, four. Well, this is this is the worst result, but. <laughs> By far, the glimmering object eludes your grasp. You simply can't dive down far enough. You resurface empty-handed, catching your breath and feeling disappointed. Perhaps if you could climb higher to dive, you could reach deeper. Okay. Or uh, there's our clue. And we're going to climb higher. That's area three. Looks like it's a tree or something. There's a path to climb higher if you want to brave the danger for a beautiful view. Though the waterfall towers much higher above you, there is a ledge where you can safely dive into the plunge pool. 
Roll d20 plus strength. Reminder, athlete. Um, 17 plus 2 strength is 19 plus uh, athlete is 21. That's the best result. Here we go. Despite the relentless rush of water, you find secure handholds and footholds that allow you to ascend the ledge near the waterfall. From here, you can safely dive into the plunge pool below. I think someone discovered the phrase plunge pool. Gain a plus 10 bonus to dive into the plunge pool, area 2. <laughs> you also see a decent path near the... Oh, gain, what did that say? Gain a plus 10 bonus. There is, okay, that's how we do it. You also see a decent path... A de wait, you also see a descent path near the base of the waterfall. Gain a plus 2... Bonus to navigate that path, area one. You can see an old campsite nearby as well. Gain a plus two bonus to roll at area four. Okay, there's no way I'm remembering all this, but um, I think, what did we want to do? Let's try, we've got our plus 10 bonus into area two. So let's try that again. That's a constitution roll. <laughs> Five plus 10 is 15 plus two is 17. Plus athlete is 19. That gets us the middle result. You reach the bottom of the plunge pool. But, <laughs> but the I'm sorry. Can we just call it a pool, please? Um, but the limited visibility makes it challenging to locate the shiny object. After diligent searching, you eventually find it and resurface with a valuable gemstone or three amber. My goodness, that was the most work we've ever done for three amber. 92. <laughs> okay. And then I think we, oops, I think we had plus two bonuses for the other areas. So let's try area four. You spot caterpillars. Where's area four? It's over in the woods. You spot caterpillars acting strangely near an abandoned campsite. Great. Strange caterpillars. Charisma, bug tamer. We're not a bug tamer. Eight. Our rolls are not great today. Maybe maybe we're retiring you. Um, let's try this one next. So that's an eight. Uh, charisma plus two is ten. Bug tamer. That's that's the worst result, and by too far to warrant really bothering trying to get it. The ordinary peace ordinarily peaceful bugs attack you to scare you over away. Reduce your health by one. Yeah, 28 health. Oh, did I add the plus two? I don't know. Eight. Wait, we have a plus two. Eight plus our charisma two is ten. Plus the two bonus is twelve. Oh, yeah, that's still well. Two, two more points. Enid's a bug tamer. Okay, we're redoing this because if Enid comes through for us, we will get the better result. I think. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Enid, Bug Tamer. Heart or Diamond, Enid? Here we go. And we get it. All right. That's the better result. I think we're supposed to have one more point, but... Um, <laughs> this is already a mess. So, uh, best result. I don't even remember what area we were for. The bugs have eaten garbage left behind by the previous campers. You clean up the area so they don't get sick. In cleaning, you find two amber. Excellent. That's 94 amber. All right. Back to the waterfall. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. We want to roll dexterity. Um, athlete plus athlete. We're going to try on this die instead. And we have a plus two bonus here. There. There we go. Okay. We get a boon die because we rolled a natural 20. And we get the best result here behind the waterfall. You delicately navigate the slippery conditions and discover a cave behind the waterfall. Okay. Well, did you guys know there's a plunge pool here? That, my friends, is November 21st. So... We shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.